Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Tracy Triceratops. So we'll go into this character's location, gameplay mechanics, backstory, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that everything I say in these videos isn't necessarily linked to the overall lore and universe of FNAF. This is just a fun, cool, creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's get into the character concept of Tracy Triceratops. So far in our FNAF character concept series, we've been introduced to the Jolly Jurassic Pizzeria. A prehistoric dinosaur fiend pizzeria that's had its fair share of incidents and accidents. All the animatronic characters have spent the last couple of nights terrorizing the player. They've attempted to enter the security office, but the night guard has been doing their best to fend them off. The characters we've seen so far have been Roger Rex, Ruby Raptor, Spike the Spinosaurus, Murphy the Mosasaurus, Tim the Pterodactyl, and the Compi Crew. Each of these twisted animatronics has their own backstory and reasons for attacking the Night Guard. But as the Night Guard faces a new shift, that means a new character will be revealed. And this character is Tracy Triceratops. Tracy was of course modelled after the humble three-horned dinosaur, the Triceratops. They were given a bright orange colour scheme and three large horns protruding out of their head. Tracy's specific build was quite similar to the other animatronics. But when it came to Tracy's design, there was one key difference. Tracy's body also doubled up as a miniature pizza oven. This meant that the workers could load a pizza into Tracy's body and she could cook it for the guests. The chefs pretty much cooked all the pizzas, but they got Tracy to cook a couple here and there. Especially for the special birthday guests. So when it came to Tracy's role at the Jolly Jurassic Pizzeria, she didn't perform up on stage. She was instead stationed at the pizza bar. Her specific section was called Tracy's Triceratoppings. This is where the guests would specifically choose what they wanted on their pizza, and then put the order through to the kitchen. Most times, like we said, the chefs would cook the pizza, but if it was a special event and Tracy was in working order, then she would cook the pizzas as well. So the way in which Tracy's body cooked the pizzas was with her electric heating elements. She had one below and one on top of her cooking compartment. This miniature oven inside of her chest would be securely closed off and locked with the two sturdy doors on Tracy's torso. These doors were made from a special heat absorbing material. This would ensure Tracy was never hot to the touch on the outside when cooking pizzas. All in all, Tracy was considered to be quite the successful character. She proved to be fairly interesting and unique and was a fan favourite amongst all the guests. But the Jolly Jurassic Pizzeria would soon realise just what could go wrong with putting a working oven inside a children's entertainment animatronic. So as time went by, Tracy cooked her fair share of pizzas. Day by day, she would cook the same old boring thing again and again. Eventually, Tracy longed to cook things that were much more interesting. There had to be more than just pizza. Sometimes when the chefs were gone for the night, Tracy would sneak into the kitchen and think up brand new things to cook. She was pretty limited with whatever she could come up with, but she definitely cooked some interesting things. The next day, the workers would have to clean out all the burnt food and waste from her inner torso. They had no idea who was stuffing all of this food inside of Tracy's oven. Surely it couldn't have been Tracy herself. Sure, all the animatronics were put into a free roam mode, but this didn't mean Tracy could cook things on her own. Whoever it was needed to be careful or else they'll start a fire. But on one unfortunate day, Tracy would be anything but careful. So on this day, it was pretty quiet at the pizzeria. They only had a handful of guests. This was expected considering it wasn't the weekend. Since there wasn't many guests or birthday parties, the chefs didn't have any use for Tracy's pizza cooking party tricks today. So they instead let her wander around and entertain the guests. Whenever they did this, they would need to make sure they deactivate her heating element. The last thing they needed was a walking, talking oven walking around all the kids. 
but complacency gets the best of all of us sometimes. And one of the chefs forgot to switch off Tracy's heating element. So whilst Tracy was out amongst all the guests, little did she know one of them would place an object inside her torso. So from time to time, the hinges on her oven door would spring open. They've done this a number of times now. The manager meant to get them repaired, but they never got around to it. So whenever they would open up, Tracy would have to quickly shut them back again. But this time she wasn't quick enough. Just before she could close the door, a small child snuck a stuffed toy inside of Tracy's oven torso. The stuffed Freddy Fazbear toy rested inside Tracy for the time being. Unaware of the damage, it was soon to do. After the day was done, all the guests and workers were gone. Tracy and the others were put into their free room setting. Tracy snuck back into the kitchen to do some experimental cooking. But before she did that, she made sure to preheat her oven. But unknown to her, the stuffed Freddy toy was still inside of her torso. After a little while, the soft flammable toy caught a light. A thick bellow of smoke started rising out of Tracy's chest. And before she knew it, her whole lower body was engulfed in flame. The flames grew quickly as Tracy's body burned up. Fortunately for her, all the fire and smoke triggered the emergency sprinklers. But although the sprinklers put out the fire, the damage was already done. Tracy's bottom half was completely burnt away. All that was left was charred wires and metal. All of this severe damage caused Tracy to shut down. It wasn't until the workers found her the next day and had the repair worker reboot her. As soon as Tracy came back to life, she remembered everything that happened. Apart from all the burning and damage, Tracy also remembers feeling alive. She had never cooked something like that before. The fact that it was so dangerous gave Tracy a rush she had never felt before. So much in fact that she wanted to do it all again. But this time she wanted to cook something far more interesting. Something that would be quite the challenge. Once again when the restaurant shut its doors for the night, Tracy crawled around and looked for her next object to burn. After searching around for a while there was nothing she wanted. That was until the night guard caught her eye. They would be perfect. She's never thought about cooking someone like them before. Tracy would normally never harm a human being, but it seems the fire has damaged and slightly augmented her programming. Tracy decided to wait until they were in their office and they would try to capture them when they weren't looking. The night guard would be a complicated item to cook, but Tracy was up for the challenge. So now let's get into the gameplay segment of the video. As always, the gameplay loop is based on the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. So as the night guard sits in their office for another terrifying night, they need to keep an eye out for all the other characters. So Tracy would approach the office from the right hand door. When the player sees them, they would need to close the door as soon as they can. Without legs, Tracy will of course be crawling towards the player. Her starting area would be the kitchen. But like we learned in the last video, the visual feed isn't available for the kitchen. But when the player hears Tracy's burnt metal scraping across the tiled floor, that's when they would know she's on the move. So just appearing from the right hand side door isn't her only move. She can also try to smoke out the player. And that is meant in a literal sense. Whenever the player starts to see smoke or starts coughing, they need to turn their attention over to the vents. In some instances, Tracy will leave burning toys inside the vents to fill the room up with burning smoke. The player needs to put them out before the smoke makes them pass out. They would need to use a fire extinguisher to put out the flaming toys. Once that was dealt with, they could continue keeping an eye out for all the other characters. But if the player lets the room fill up with too much smoke, it could cloud their vision and also leave them open to a classic FNAF jump scare. Now I think Tracy would be a great addition to the Jolly Jurassic roster of characters. Their damaged and messed up appearance is quite disturbing. And their many attempts to breach the security office would keep the player on their toes.
Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, comment down below what you thought of Tracy Triceratops and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.